So today for my science experiment, I am going to be seeing how cat food and dog food would react in different things like cold water, warm water, peroxide, vinegar, and the microwave. So I'm going to be putting in 100 milliliters of water into each cup and then putting the cat food and dog food into the cups and I just want to see how they react because they have different ingredients, a lot of different ingredients. And yeah, it's cold water, warm water, peroxide, vinegar, and the soon to be in the microwave. And here are the different cat and dog food. The cat food is the little, um, the little squares. I mean, not squares, X's there. The cat food, the dog food is the triangles. And we are using the cat food and blue buffalo dog food. So now we are going to do the water first, and then we're going to let them sit for 30 minutes. So dog food into the water, and I'll do just the cold water first. And there it goes, yay! Cat food, and warm water now, dog food, and cat food, and the timer is set for 30 minutes starting now. the cat dog cat food is on the um, other side so the cat food actual food should be on the other side. Perfect. Well, outside, when we don't have that much so we're just going to cover them instead of 100 milliliters. Now that they were gonna bubble so but nothing's really happening. Okay, well on to the next one. Vinegar I'm using the white vinegar for this next assignment and I am going to use fifty milliliters instead of one hundred or just covering them up. So we'll see what happens. Smells so much like Easter eggs. Ah, I love that smell of vinegar. It's dry for 15 seconds and 50, I didn't say 15, I said 50. And nothing really happened, so we're gonna try with um 50 milliliters of water in each, and this is 100, so even out. And we're going to do this for 50 seconds. As you can see, our timer has ended. So, let's see if anything happened. Okay. This is the cat food. Nothing. Maybe the dog food? Why? Well, I need something exciting to happen. This is going to be so cool boring. Nothing. Except for it's got a little more soggy. Soggy. And it's pretty hot. Timer now, and we're noticing nothing different. Cat food in cold water. Dog food in cold water. Wet. They're a little foggier in the warm water. All the cat food is, at least. In the peroxide, even soggier, even though they've been in there for a short amount of time, which I don't get. And in the vinegar, really the same, not quite. And the microwave warm water thing, it's bubbly, but nothing else. The bags of food had this giant list of ingredients and we think I thought that 
there would be some difference because of the different things in it. And strangely, the one that's supposed to be healthier has more ingredients than the other one, so I don't get it. with the water about nothing it's just pretty soggy but that's just the cold water with the cat food in it a few bubbles oh. dog food again nothing really a few bubbles actually there aren't any bubbles on this one hmm that's one difference Warm water. Very, very, uh, a little soggy. Let's see the warm water cat food and the cold water cat food compared. Let's see, so that one is really soggy. And this one, I think, I think warm water wins for the soggy competition. Let's see. Dog food, uh, same as gold. Vinegar. I mean, peroxide. Peroxide takes the win for cat food sogginess. And it's got the dog food soggier than the others. Cat food, not that soggy in vinegar. Dog food, same as the water. Whoa. And warm water microwave has basically made the cat food blow up like a sponge. The dog food too. This one. The dog food, it sunk to the bottom. Unlike the others where it stayed floating. Wonder why that is concludes our experiment and really nothing that dramatic happened. I'm a little curious about why the dog food sunk in that last one, but it seems that basically no matter what, it gets soggy. So yeah, say bye Bean. Bye. Who wants to eat it? Sit. Okay, it's back to the